Facts First presents… New York is overrun by rats, yet we know almost nothing about their underground kingdom. Before we get into this video, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Rats cause a variety of problems. They eat our food, they chew through our property, they carry disease, and they are challenging to get rid of. No matter how much poison we use or how many traps we set, rats continue to multiply at an alarming rate. Rats are very resilient creatures, and they are a lot smarter than we give them credit for. Rats don't only live out in the country or suburban homes, they are in big cities. Those cities are infested. I mean, why wouldn't rats want to live in big cities? It makes sense. There are restaurants on every corner which provide a source of food for large rat populations at the dumpsters. There are millions of people living in large cities. That gives rats a comfortable place to eat and sleep. And there are thousands of people walking down the streets, leaving food behind. When it comes to finding a place to thrive, rats were very smart in setting up home in a big city. New York is one major rat city. New York is overrun by them, and yet we know almost nothing about their underground kingdom. And that's the reason that New York has been unsuccessful in eradicating the rat problem. According to reports, cities are going about addressing rat infestations the wrong way. If there are rats in public properties or government buildings, it's up to the municipal government to handle the problem. If there are rat infestations in local food establishments, it's up to the local health authorities to deal with the issue. If rats are found in a person's home, it's up to that homeowner to deal with the problem. Because everybody is not on the same page and we're not all working together to achieve the same goal, it makes it more challenging to deal with the rat issue. Every year, big cities put millions of dollars into controlling the rat population. New York City spent $32 million on their war on rats. The reason all this money is going to waste is that we don't understand rats and we're looking at this rat problem the wrong way. We're also looking at rats themselves the wrong way. Rather than looking at New York as a place that's under human control and has been invaded by rats, maybe we look at the city as an ecosystem that rats happen to live in as well. The experts who believe that we're not looking at the rat problem correctly, they are, they're in no way believing that we should accept rats and start cohabitating with them. No. The experts believe that we just need to shift our focus to managing the ecosystem which rats are a part of, rather than focusing on the rats themselves. When we understand that we're managing an ecosystem, more successful plans might be able to be put in place. If New York wants to use their money set aside on the war on rats properly, they need to focus on places other than eating establishments and places where the rats can be an embarrassment. Rats live in homes because they have access to food, water, and shelter. When a rat sets up home in a person's house, they have no reason to leave. These rodents are more prominent in poor, poverty-stricken areas. The people who live in those areas they are barely making ends meet as it is. They don't have the money to worry about hiring an exterminator. If these areas are not taken care of, the rat problem will never be eradicated. They'll continue to multiply and move throughout the city. Taking care of the rats in these areas doesn't mean that the rest of the urban landscape should be ignored. Rather than singling out specific areas where rats are a problem, New York officials should be looking at the city as a whole. They need to understand that there are rats everywhere, even in places that we don't see them. When they look at a rat problem as a whole, they'll have a better chance of eradicating the problem as a whole. New York needs to work with experts with a vast knowledge of rats in urban areas if they're going to set up the proper programs and policies to get rid of the problem in the city. Until that happens, we're going to be sharing our cities with rats for the foreseeable future. Another mistake that New York officials are making is that they're underestimating the intelligence of rats. Rats are very intelligent creatures, which could be the reason that they can survive in just about any environment. Considering how serious the rat problem is in New York, it could take decades to handle the problem. Had the city understood the best way to look at the rat problem 30 years ago, New Yorkers may not be living above a rat kingdom today. Subscribe for more.